Hi guys. I have a little haul. Um, that's well, actually, it's a pretty good size haul, I guess. Um, I've had to be out a lot, and I also Jeff and I have started. It's fall, so our Saturday mornings we like to go out and garage sale and uh, go to estate sales and things like that. It's it's kind of entertainment has nothing to do with needing anything or buying anything, but it's entertainment. So, um, but I had a few things I wanted to show you. Um, I was back into Hobby Lobby, not af after something specific, I think yarn for mom, and they still had some of their clearance stuff. And I've been wanting to do a feather journal, and these feather um, charms were... On clearance and I thought they would work really nice for to do a work in a feather journal or a bird journal either one and then I had gotten some of these tiny little clips in silver and I got some bigger ones and I got some of the colors um, I wasn't going to but then I decided you know these are colors I might use in a journal and I really like them for I think it's they're really cute for clipping tags and things in. And I had avoided buying this stamp the first couple times I was in there. And the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. So it's just bubbles. That's all it is, is bubbles. And um, I don't know, I may actually cut it in half because uh, that's awful big. But at the same time, I use rubber stamps like this as backgrounds, but not necessarily to stamp the whole image, just to, you know, put a little bit here and there on. So I got that. And this was another one I hadn't gotten and hadn't gotten. And then I decided that I really liked some of the little flowers in it and the little bugs that were in it. Um, so, and I, I have butterflies, but these butterflies are different than the ones I have. So I went ahead and got those. You know, when they start clearance and things, um, it's hard not to go ahead and get it. And I thought this was really cool. Uh, this was over in the tech where they have all the drafting supplies and things. And it's four different sizes of alphabet. And the alphabets have numbers on them. And I thought that would be really interesting to um, use like a stencil. So I got that. Let's see here. Okay. Then this is from Joanne. And I was in and out of there. You know, I'm working on a Santa suit for Hubby. And um, I've been in and out of Joanne several times. And I just am in love with these. Um, of course, they're kind of Halloween. This is hard to see. Let's open it so you can see it better because it's, um, it's very dark, but it's bugs and I just thought they were so cool. And I didn't get them and I didn't get them and I didn't get them and I thought, you know, if I don't get them, I'm going to be sorry because every time I went in there, I looked at them. And for those that you know me, you know my obsession with bugs in my art journals and stuff. So, come here. This one you can see pretty well. It's really cool. It's it's like spider webs with all kinds of moths and things on it. So. But this one is a big bug. It's a big moth. And there's just two of them. And it's a black background. And if they weren't reduced, because this is this was uh, Halloween stuff, so, you know, they were on sale. I wouldn't have gotten it because of the black background, but I really do like it. So I decided I had to have those. And this last one, I really kind of like too. Um, 
I'm thinking about doing an Edgar Allan Poe journal, and I thought that would work real well. Both of these darker ones would work real well for something like that. So I got those. And, of course, somewhere along the line, I had to go to Dollar Tree because, you know, we just have to go to Dollar Tree. Um, and I buy these things. This is just a, a door placard kind of thing. Really cute little halloween -y thing for my mom, for her door. And I need to take it to her today so uh, she can get it hung up. But then they had these. Um... And like I said, I was thinking about doing an Edgar Allan Poe journal, and I think this is really cool. Um, they also had a skull, and I did not get that because it looked more Halloween-like. This skull um, makes me think uh, Poe, but the, the other one was more of a, like a Halloween kind of thing, so... And then, because I was thinking about that, I did get these. Um, I really like the spiders. Now, this uh, the stuff about, um, like, they can be trimmed off. The words could be trimmed off. And I got this one, again, because I was thinking about a Poe journal. And it's got a raven, an owl, and a bug. And it's got some other little things that I would use, like, uh, leaves and things but these are the purple things are all Halloween stuff so they'll go away um, I didn't realize this until recently but well this one doesn't show it but at Dollar Tree if they have if the crafter square stuff has a different color on it it's for a holiday so these won't be available after the holiday and I got these. This is a cup cupcake wrapper, but because it was the um, spider web, I thought it'd be really cool to um, to use. Just uh, you know, cut apart and use on an art journal page. It's got spiders on it. So. Okay, and I've gotten this one before. But I decided I needed another one because I've used part of the other one. So I, I decided I needed a second one. And then this looked really cool. Um, these are rub-on transfers, but they're a little different. They're stickier than the old kind of rub-on transfers. They're a little different. So um, I, I, the ones I used from this I really liked. So I decided I'd get this other one. Okay, and then, like I said, we've been going to estate sales and stuff like that, so. Um, and when I go on Saturday to um, these things, the... Um, a lot of times if the it's little stuff like I buy, I just gather it and then she gives me a price for everything. And if it's not a reasonable price, then I don't get it. But usually it is because she usually knows that I'm not um I'm not gonna use it for much other than art, so she's usually pretty good about it. So I got tickets. I got green ones, orange ones, and red ones. Um, and now these tickets sometimes, see how this one is, it's got the circles on there. Sometimes I take my paper uh, punch and take the little spots out. It all depends on what I'm doing with them. But I got those. And I think this was all in one pile that I paid for. No, don't fall over. Yeah. Mm hmm It was. Um, these, I got several of them. Okay, looks like they're 
they're stuck different ways. So is, are they different? No, they're not. Um, these are some kind of message uh, paper. But if this is the perfect size to go in like my little Sunday journal that I use. Where's my Sunday journal? Um, right here. So this kind of um, this kind of paper was perfect for that, and I thought they were really cool. And like I said, they were in the pile um, of stuff, and I haven't even opened this, but I'm pretty sure it's all rickrack. Yeah, it is. And it's got some beautiful vintage -y coloring in it because look at the peach in that. Isn't that pretty? Um, the yellow's not so bright anymore. That gr even the lime green is more vintage than stuff I've got. And it has all different sizes of rickrack in it. It's just rickrack. Plus, I love these wrappers when I use them. So I got all of that. Let's see if I can get it back in there. I can't, so we'll just not worry about it. And then there there was a bunch of children's books. And I was, a, sometimes they, she can get kind of pricey on the children's books. Especially if they're old ones. So, I just don't. I, I, I didn't pick up very many of them because I didn't want to say no I'm not paying I'm not paying that for those um, especially since how they were in very very bad shape um, and I don't think these are her prices I think this may be what the person either sold them for or paid for them I'm not sure um, so I only got these two this one is read me some poems and I got them because of the illustrations of course they're just, the illustrations are just adorable in them. So I got that one. And then I've been collecting Christmas books because I want to do some December dailies kind of thing. Um... There again, these are, they were in really bad shape. Um, but I kind of felt that for what I was going to do with them, they would be fine. I think the illustrations again in this one are just beautiful. So, um, Now that's interesting. I don't know that I've ever read it that way. Maybe I have not read the... It says, As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. That's interesting. I may need to get out some of the other books and read them again. But anyways, I got those. All of that, all that I just showed you from the estate sale was all in one... Um, pile that um, I paid a single price for. Give me just a second. I have to put this back down somewhere. And then I stopped at a garage sale. see if I can back this out any I don't know if I can yeah okay um I can't really show you this this is a 12 by 12 inch box and it's about four inches deep and it was originally closed to <laughs> when I when I picked it up and asked her what the price was and I didn't really go through it I saw a few things on the top and I'm gonna move it down and then go from there so, so that I can show it to you stuff that's in it um, digging through it kind of made uh, a mess um, most of this was what was on top so I just I didn't really dig any further I asked her how much she wanted and when it was reasonable I just went ahead and took it um, 
I mean, I, I think I, I might have paid a dollar or, or two for the box. I don't, I don't think it was much, but um, it was kind of messy, and it was, but it was very, very reasonable. So there was some papers and, and stuff in here that you know, needs to be thrown away or gotten rid of. But this is, t um, there's refill pages in here. And recently I went and got some refill pages to do some organizing. And the refill pages, for what I paid, this, this package of refill pages alone uh, would have easily covered whatever the box was. So, and then there was loose ones in here too. So, um, I picked this up, but then, and I, like I said, I didn't even really look in the box because she gave me a good price. I, the refill pages alone would have done it. Um, these little pins right here, uh, are, <laughs> I, I, I needed some more of them. So, like I said, the refill pages would have made me happy. But then there was some papers in it, and, like, I need paper, but, um, it was, it wasn't like I couldn't use them. I mean, I, I would use these, maybe not right away, but I will use these. And that's another refill page. Like I said, it got kind of messed up when I was digging through it to look at it. But these, I really like these. These are just um, letter stickers, and uh, they, they'll come in handy for just um, a distraction or something like that on a page. Not a big deal. This was just, this is just basically scraps of paper. More scraps for the scrap bin. All of this was like scrapbook stuff, and it was not something I necessarily needed in any way, shape, or form, but like I said, the, um, the refill pages. This is a complete set of Christmas stuff. It's got sticker uh, borders, it's got, got die cuts, it's got all kinds of things in it, and it's all Christmas, and like I said, um, I was thinking about doing some Christmas journals. These look like fun. These are just photo corners. Uh, I can see putting um, little tags and things in with these little photo corners. They're creamy colored, which makes them nice and Victorian. Plus, um, you can always um, ink them. There's some more of those. This is just a little baggie of stickers and stuff. These are pretty. Um, like I said, when she gave me a price for, flat out for the box, I didn't look much further. I just kind of said, okay, I want those refill pages. That's enough. I, 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 can, I can pay for that. The thing of it is, is that when I get down, got down in the box, there was some amazing things in here. Um, this is a, a scrapbooking book, which... Uh, you could probably use that to um, make a, a little junk journal out of or something. Uh, that looks like die cuts. More die cuts. This is photo frames. Let's open that. That looks like fun. Oh, that looks like a, those look like fun. Oh, journal spots. I see journal spots. That's really cool. Yep. Those will get used without any problem. Okay, I'll have to put that back in there. Okay, now we're going to get down to 
where I didn't see stuff because it was all slid in between um, the the papers. I did see this. Uh, I don't know that this is something that I will actually use. I'll have to decide because it's kind of clunky. Um, but it was in there. You know, it was no big deal. And like I said, I'd already gotten what I wanted out of that box. Um, it's small, and I tend to cut bigger pieces at my table. And I have this kind of a cutter. And I do like this one because I can cut up to a 12-inch piece of paper without too much trouble. It uh, is not perfect, but... So I don't know that I'll use this, but that's all right. Um, there was one of these tape runners, which it's got it's got sticky squares in it. Um, when it runs out, I I mean it's they're still sticky, so I should you know I'll be able to use that. Um, these are Tim Holtz scissors. These are seven inch Tim Holtz tonic scissors. Um, and we all know that that was a good buy. <laughs> they were in there. I had no idea they were in there. Um, this is in here. Uh, this is a circle cutter where you have to have a mat, a mat like that. It cuts circles and ovals and, um, what was really interesting is that it has an oval cutter with a circle or ovals inside of it and circles. You actually just um, put this down and then this is the cutter. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to get these apart. Let's see here. Do they just pull? So this rides in this track and it cuts right on the edge. Okay, um, this one may cut in. Okay, this one cuts about a quarter of an inch from this edge. So you can make larger and smaller spaces. And then I'll bet you this one cuts right on the edge. Yeah, that one cuts right on the edge. So. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit, see if I'm actually going to use it or not. But um, the whole set's here. So, I mean, there's there's all kinds of fun things to make, like, frames with. Um, and each of these makes a different size. So uh, there's multiple circles and multiple ovals. So, and then there was, of course, a cutting mat. Cutting mat alone, I didn't even know that was in there because, like I said, I didn't dig. I just, she gave me the little dollar or two dollar price and I took it. So, um, and there's a few more things in here. Not necessarily things I needed or wanted or anything like that, but. Things I wasn't going to turn down. Um, these are decorative scissors. And I'll have to check because some of them I have. Um, oh. They have a magnet in there. Um, in, in here to lock them together. That was inter That's interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's just more stuck than the others. And the other thing is I will test them. But some of them, I I don't believe I have this one. Um, and then the other thing is whether or not they're, the, they're better than the ones I have. Because, you know, this kind of scissor isn't necessarily always wonderful. Um, I've seen this at Dollar Tree. It's a, just a Dollar Tree pad, but it, it's kind of cool. So it, it would... Uh, it will get used somewhere along the line. There was some little glitters. What do you call those? Um, Sequiny things. What is this? I 
I don't know if it's double-sided or single-sided tape. Let's see here. Three M. It's double-sided tape. So Scotch brand double-sided tape. So, you know, I can always use that. Okay, and then there were more of these little um, pins for the, the scrapbooks, which is always a good thing because these are, they don't all fit the same size book. And then there is another one of these, and you will not believe, I have one of these in my stash right up there where I keep things. Um, it, I didn't, I love these. These are just fabulous screwdrivers, little tiny itty bitty screwdriver that you can use for everything. I've already got one there, but I'm going to take this one over and put it on my um, computer desk because I'm always trying to do something and needing a, a little screwdriver, this or that. So... Anyways, guys, um, this turned into quite a long video. I didn't realize I had so much to show you, but, um, I mean, we've been to a lot of garage sales, too, that didn't have anything to show, and, um, but this little box of things was an amazing find. I, I was very, very tickled at getting that, so and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'm going to tell you, Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.